Hello ladies and gents and all in between, this was the goal right here to begin the season, to get in the SWAC in the MAC championship. This is our opportunity, we have one moment to seize everything we ever wanted this season. And what do you know, it's a rematch from the regular season game, where us family we took on Preview. And the first matchup, uh, Preview put, out, put it in all fashion whoop ass being on us rattlers by 30 points the final being 26 to their 59 let's see if the rattlers can show up for the half of the bargain and put up a fight for the swag in the match championship stay tuned game day And as always, I would love to open the kickoff as he booms it away to Marvin Ross, our best corner this year. First block to touch the ball in the Mackinac Swag Championship, and he takes the ball up to the 26 yard line. Very nice play. We get a ball to LP, our halfback. Makes a nice little juke right there. And with that juke in game, he breaks the record for most single season rushing yards in a single season. Congrats to LP. Third and eight, we go to the flood concept. We got the go, the deep out, and the flat route. Third and eight, we go to the drag back side of Brian Times. He chops the ball in a hard hit. So we end up putting the ball away. Second and two, as Prairie takes over. When the Joe Man concept, to go to re option, get us. Get out leverage, great blocking downfield by the receiver. Marvin Ross does a good job of keeping it inside, and the, the cavalry finally arrives. And it's the name of the game. You're going to run a play until you prove that you can stop it. They ran the read option once again. We had players in the right area, just couldn't execute as he trips and falls and stumbles into an 18 yard game for a first down. Here we go, straight man. And this is not a replay. Another read option once again. He makes a nice, even better, stronger cut. Gets a feel inside the red zone for a 23 yard game. Well, here we go, still a man trying to stop anything we can. Another re option, John Ocho, the safety. Gets stiff arm to sleep, and the quarterback gets in the end zone, takes the early lead over the Rattlers. Alright, so we got the receivers into the boundary. We motion out Levante Page, nobody picks him up, miscommunication. This is like an easy points right here, unaccounted for. All you do is catch the ball and get up field, but he drops it wide, spanking open. Since Levante Perry dropped the ball, we put in Eddie Rocker, who makes a good catch. Nice footwork, cuts back outside, gets the guaranteed first down and more inside the 10-yard line. That's what he does. The very next play, going to, going to shotgun. Two gets open. Austin drops back the pass. On third and goal, they keep everything in front of them and made us kick a, kick a field goal. And here they have a settle for the field goal as Spanu trends the lead down to four. And three, Prairie View A7. All right, uh, the following drive, we try to get us with the face screen here, but great discipline by the secondary of forces a nice cover sack. A big third down, here they go, empty set, third and long. Try to get the, the vertical shake right underneath. Keep everything in front of us. Rally to the ball and force a great fourth down here and get the ball back to our offense. Okay, so after that punt, we go with the spacing concept on a pivotal third and five here. Bring Kevin Elliott in motion as he spots right at the first down marker, turns and catches and get right up field and gets the first down. First and 10 on the brink of red zone. Perfect play call here. Prairie View has one man unaccounted for, and that's Eddie Rocker as he goes in untouched for a 23-yard touchdown run. Here we go, same old, same old, another re-option here. We take the quarterback away, but this time Fred Anderson runs over our safety, breaks it, and gets brought down at our own 45. After the incompletion, they go for another re-option. We bite on the dive this time, leaving the quarterback free to roam as he breaks a tackle. 
and he finally gets brought down inside the five-yard line with a 41-yard rush. And they finally punch it here in on second and goal. The nice speed option, a little change of pace on us. Definitely caught us off guard. So right now, Prairie View offense looks unstoppable on the ground. Go with the half-back draw. Game of two, nothing seems to go on here, except for a holding call that sets us back 10 yards and puts us behind schedule. After the unforced error, we come back in the smash concept, and Austin throws a dime to LaShawn Tooks and gets us inside the red zone. Got the receivers in the boundary, just what we want. You can tell this man on man because no one on the right side of the field. Get Devontae Page on the counter, he gets outside, try to get the juke to the right outside, gets slowed up and gets hit hard at the inch yard line. Huge tackle right there. So after stopping us on first and goal, Charlie. Go on two, but the guard jumps, gives us a false start. That's an important penalty right there. But instead of 30 inches, we have 30 and five, 30 like five or six. We look like they have man coach when we go to the pass. The pressure gets the Austin to chuck it up to LaShawn Tuck, his favorite target, and the ball gets picked off in the end zone. Okay, so even after after that deadly sin of throwing a Getting a turnover in the end zone. Go with a bunch shotgun formation here. Four verts. They get great coverage. We hit the check down to Levante Page. But there's a flag, of course. Clipping, which is a 15-yard penalty. So instead of a nice little game with 30 seconds left to go before the half, it's now first and 13. But halftime to try to get some points. He throws to LaShawn Tooks late across the middle. You can't do that. That's another deadly sin. Almost took it the other way. And here we go for the half. They're not improving defense for some reason, but then Austin didn't have quite enough time. And we almost get the tip catch off of Brian Times with a score of a touchdown, take the lead right before the half. Unfortunately, he dropped that ball and we go down to the Go down. No, go to halftime down by four. Not too shabby. Still in striking distance. We know the Raptors love to strike more than once. On so stay tuned for the second half. Should be a great finish. Okay, so after the short intermission, here we go, 33. We finally made the halftime adjustment and stopped the read option. We have a, a Roomba of Rattlers around the ball. Gotta love it behind the line of scrimmage. Force a punt, get about to Levante as he gets He's outside with a nice untouched 15 yard gain. Here we go, fourth and one, down by four, huge play. We go big old big, mano y mano. O line gets a solid push and we get a nice gain of four yards for the first down. Third and inches, similar predicament. We get about to our best player, Levante Page. Let him and O line do what they do best. Nice run downhill. That's exactly what we do. And he's makes a nice little cut. Gets outside and gets untouched once again for a touchdown. What a run by Levante Page and perfect blocking by the O-line. After we go up three, third and one. I was thinking re optional screen here, but instead they threw a slant on our man coverage. Get him down at midfield. Nice, nice play by the coach on Hats off to them. Eventually we shut him down, force them to punt, go with the play action, nothing seems open. And Austin does something I try to preach him to do more and more, and that's use his legs. Gets a nice first down and avoids the hit. We have a jet sweep to our senior Kevin Elliott. The defense over pursues, and Kevin Elliott realizes that and cuts back from where he started from and gets knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. A few plays go back as we get closer to the goal line. We go to the halfback counter again. Great block and Levante Page is yet again untouched for another six points for the family rappers. LP! With that touchdown, Levante Page sets the, sets the single season school rushing touchdown record. Congrats. Congratulations to Levante Page. Shout out to the Rattlers. Score 14 as a point. The Panthers get the ball to Fred. Anderson who breaks the tackles and finally gets brought down inside of the 15. Panthers trying to answer back with eight minutes left in the game. It's second down, eight to go. 
And of course, the all, the all time favorite play that our defense has yet to stop. Old fashioned read option. Defensive end does read it but doesn't execute once again. Closes his eyes or something and that walks in for a touchdown. One possession game, huge drive here to bring it all out. Blake, zero coverage. Kevin Elliott's wide open off the dig route and makes a nice juke to the outside and turn this football game into a track meet. Tell you now, big time players made big time plays in big time games. Shout out Kevin Elliott. We got another read option here. Perfect play call by me, the defensive coordinator here, and head coach. Get the fumble, get the turnover. Pretty much gonna ice the game here. Exactly what the safety did. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great but as I pick my offensive play, the booth decides to review it and eventually do overturn this call and get the ball back to the Panthers for a second and 13. 10 point game, they go out to a five wide. We're going basically cover three kind of scenario. And Mana Drell Clark with that diving sack breaks the record for most sacks in a single season. Congrats, Mondrell. Eventually get them to punt on the next down. And Kevin Elliott's back there. Ready for his number to get caught again as he turns the corner and outraces the contained man, sets up his blocks, and finally stumbles into the end zone and put his mark on this swag in the Mac championship game. Kevin Elliott, receiver, the senior. Our defense landing off the gas a little bit here. Second and two. More of a prevent mode. Keep everything in front of us. Try to waste some clock. A little bad miss. Bad tackling there. Just them a nice game of 15 yards. Next play, they go with a shotgun. We go with uh, zero coverage. So athlete versus athlete. They go with the slip screen. Great play call by them. And Fred Anderson goes untouched down the sideline. To bring the deficit for them back with them 10. So it was about six minutes left, about five, four minutes left in the game. So we went to our four minute drill and we were successful as the Panthers did not get the ball back as they thought they would. We ran out the rest of the clock, driving the ball down methodically. And there you have it, folks. Your Rattlers have officially won the Swack in the Mac Championship. A great feeling being in Detroit and coming out as winners in Detroit with the confetti flawing. The confetti falling as we as we continue to push forward, try to turn this rattle program in Tallahassee to a powerhouse. I'm signing off. ISO stands for Inspire Yourself Hourly or In Search of. Have you feeling that day? Remember, always keep your hair high, your chin up, and your stomach in. Peace. ISO. Panthers, they drop below 500 on the season with today's loss.